One thing that we have seen from this pandemic is everybody coming together. And that's what we're seeing here today. We have Deneva with Comcast and Jennifer from the Neighborhood House. And pretty amazing to see big companies like Comcast. Deneva, you guys are donating over $300,000 to nine different organizations. Tell me about it. Yeah, so our company, Comcast, we're stepping up in a tremendous way as nonprofits and other organizations on the front line are dealing with this COVID response. We wanted to help them out, stabilize their organization, make sure that they can support staff and pay their staff during this time, and also equip them with the necessary funds so when this is all said and done, they can continue to help their clients in an impactful way. Wow, that is just incredible. And thank you so much for doing that. And one of the recipients, Jennifer, uh, tell us about the Neighborhood House. So Neighborhood House has been around for 126 years. We've been located on the west side of Salt Lake City, serving hardworking families for a really long time. And this is the population that's super vulnerable. So we provide daycare for both children and adults so that these families can go to work and do what they need to do to have economic stability. So now with this crisis, these families are the most vulnerable and they're even more in need. So we've established this fund very specifically to help, like Geneva said, help families as they try to recover from this crisis, but also to keep our employees going and our organization strong so they're ready and responsive to the well, and I think that when this all unfolded about a month ago, everybody's stressed out who has to work and, oh my gosh, where do I, what do I do with my kids all day? So that's where people like you and your organization come into play. What about going beyond? You know, once things start to reopen and people go back to work, what about for those families that are going to be so financially strapped that they're still in need after all this is, you know, kind of over? Exactly. So that's what this COVID-19 community fund actually will help with is hardship assistance. So we're already an affordable service that is based on a sliding fee scale, but we know these families coming back after the crisis are not going to even be able to meet those fees because we don't want them to have to choose between the basic necessities, you know, feeding their family, paying their rent, or having the proper care for their loved ones. So we're able to use this funding to reduce their fee to zero for a certain amount of time till they are able to recover and get back on track as their family restabilizes. I love it. And your website, if people want more information, Jennifer? Yeah, that's nhutah.org. And what's really exciting is because of Comcast and their funding, we're able to do a match. So right now, if you can spare anything, that'll be matched by Comcast. And we're trying to raise $20,000 by uh, first week of May. So if people want to contribute even $10, that's doubled. So we really appreciate what Comcast has done for us over the years, but especially right now when everyone is so amazing. Perfect. Thank you so much. And Deneva, I know that Comcast, you're such a huge company. You guys are really taking precautions as far as your employees and how they're dealing with customers. If they want more information, where can they go? The most up-to-date information is corporate.comcast.com. Perfect. Thank you so much, ladies. We appreciate it.